The debate over abortion is coming to Colorado. The Secretary of State's office has approved a petition to move forward in collecting signatures for a potential ballot initiative banning abortion after 22 weeks. I spoke with representatives from Planned Parenthood, Democrats for Life of Colorado, and the local pregnancy center to get their take on the proposed ban. The public health crisis and Colorado needs to be on the right side of that crisis. We need to be able to provide health care to patients, not turn them away or make matters worse. Vicki Cowart, CEO and president of Planned Parenthood of the Rocky Mountains, says voters in the Centennial State have voiced their opinions on abortion rights numerous times. Colorado voters have been very clear uh, three distinct times with ballot initiatives where voters said in large, large margin that they believe that a woman ought to be able to make this decision, this health care decision on her own with her doctor and nobody else needs to be in that conversation. Dr. Tom Perrill, president of Democrats for Life of Colorado, aims to persuade voters in the opposite direction. Petitions are beginning to be circulated to outlaw abortion after 22 weeks. Democrats for Life Colorado is strongly in favor of that kind of legislation because we think it's an area where virtually all of Coloradans, Coloradans can agree that a 22-week-old fetus is a viable human being. A pro-life sentiment which Valerie Herrera with the Pregnancy Center here in Grand Junction can support. While having an abortion at 22 weeks is still a difficult thing um, for the pregnancy centers, um, it is better than, give, than having an abortion all the way up to, to birth. It all comes down to when you believe a human is a human, at birth or at conception. I believe that there's been a narrative pushed by abortion rights activists which dehumanizes the embryo and fetus. Many argue pro-life principles infringe on women's rights. These are extreme. They're not intended to help women make better decisions. They're not intended to help women's health. They're not intended to do anything other than to restrict a woman's ability to make her own decision about her health care. A decision currently left up to women in the state of Colorado. The so-called choice for an abortion, when you look dig deeper, is, is frequently coercion. But we also know that abortion actually hurts women. It doesn't really necessarily help them. Some feel abortions are short-term solutions which may come with long-term risks. When a woman has an abortion, a lot of times she can get what they call post-abortion syndrome, which is similar to PTSD. Vicki says access to free contraception is the key. If you let women have access to contraception, you don't put barriers in place like cost. Women can control their fertility, they can reduce unintended pregnancies, and consequently, reduce abortions. It's a very simple equation. Planned Parenthood recently announced it plans to spend $45 million on next year's election in a campaign aimed at supporting abortion rights. We'll continue to follow the abortion debate and any proposed legislation in the Centennial State.